Welcome back to my tutorial. Last time we are started to create our main widget, our beginning of the game. So today we are continuous to apply some animation to work with this, uh, with this widget. So what we will do? We are save it, compile it, and we are going to our main menu. So inside in the level, we are have to create one more level. Right click and level. This will be like a start game, something like that. So now I have game level. I can put game level number one, doesn't matter, or just game level, game level number one. And I have start game, which will be in beginning. So um, save it and double click for this level. As you can see, it asked me to save previous level. Yes, save selected. Okay, and what I have? I haven't nothing. Now inside my game, I have two different levels. Game level with my game and start level, which is empty now. So inside in this level, I have also separate blueprint. So I have here blueprint, which is already with something, yeah? And I have here some blueprint level bl blueprint, but it's empty for a moment. So, uh, I like to create something here. For begin play, I create a widget. So make like this, create widget, and name of this widget will be main screen. You remember, yes? This widget I add to viewport. After that, what I am doing, compile, and add some mouse, mouse, Set mouse, where is this my mouse cursor? It should be somewhere red color. Set show mouse cursor. Mouse cursor will be for player controller. Get player controller, something like that. Very nice. So what we are doing now? Now we are going for our settings and project settings. As you remember, somewhere here we have maps. We have uh, editor startup level and game default level. So now we have to change this for start game. For this reason, if I'm going here and start to play, I start from this widget, as you can see. Okay, I cannot see mouse, why? We have go to open level and here I have make like this. Okay, very nice, so now it will work. Again, play. Now I cannot play in the game, I can play only with these levels. So uh, I cannot push nothing, nothing working because I think I have something on top. So uh, we are open again this widget, just a moment, main screen, and we will see where is uh, my problem. So this image should be somewhere here, behind, but bull should be behind. So compile and check, play and check. So. As you can see, I can push now this button, this button working, high score not working, and this button working. Here I can put some text and enter. So looks like everything done. Uh, what we will do now? Now I add a uh, high score, add this information. So we are going for this text. And as you remember in some of my other tutorials, I use this text bind. Just push here and create bind. So I have text and return node. First of all, I have call my, yeah, I have load, 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 just a moment, we will see. Loading game from slot. Uh, what is the name of this slot? You can check here. Inside my pawn, we have the saving, just a moment, somewhere here, save game, and we are saved inside my save. So we are going here, we are loaded from my save. After that, I take from this area. Mm, just a moment. After that, I have call cast to my save game. Cast to my save game, something like that. Also, I use a pure cast. Then I take from the save game high score, get high score, and then I transfer this high score to 
text mode to return mode something like that so if i play now i see this is my high score 16 and it looks like very nice so what i am doing now now i like to add some animation for this button i am going back to design i take the secret code and put somewhere just a moment no it will be 40 i put somewhere here for a moment something like that only 40. so what i'm doing i create animation just going here and create animation will be like a secret animation something like that so then i take this box and make this animation very short maybe for i uh, select this animation and make this animation for maybe only one second something like that so in frame for zero second i will push this button something like that after that i am going here for one second and transfer this text somewhere here something like that maybe minus 560 so and again push one more button so what i get i get like this animation looks like very very nice what we will do now how to start this animation so we are going to this button name of this button button 145 so i change this name button for secret something like that uh, going down and what we will do on click it so we are going on click it and we are play if we are click this button i like to call very nice function with name flip flop it's mean uh, every time when i push this button i have first time a then b then a then b all time like this okay when i push first time i have a play animation which animation i will play i play secret animation something like that very good when i push one more time i again have a play animation just copy paste but now this animation will be not forward will be reverse and here i can also put the same animation something like that so now we will check how it's working start to play i have the secret code as you can see working very nice only i don't like in beginning so now we have to check again uh, why is here i not understood it should be somewhere behind maybe maybe now it will work so play okay i haven't push coming secret code push again going out so we are apply some nice option if i haven't i cannot put any code if i have it i can put some some information inside so it is very nice what now now i like to add some options for these two buttons exit and start uh, how to do it we are going for exit button this one uh, after that we are going for click it because it's very simple yes if i click this button i just quite the game that's all nothing more just quite the game uh, maybe i make some delay before out something like that okay very good what next next i'm going back and i use this start also what i will do on click it i am going here and on click it of start button i will open level as you can see open level and question is which level i have to open i'm going here for my levels folder and i like to open game level one so uh, sorry i am going back to tutorial widgets main screen yeah it will be game level one okay very nice so now we will start we will check it how it's working start to play this already working if i push exit i just exit the game after small delay as you can see yes but if i push start coming other level of the game and i can start a play with some music with everything and it looks like very nice 
So quite the game. Now I change some additional options for here. If I make a quite the game, I like to go to main screen, not out the game. So what we will do? We are going to widgets and we are take few screens. First of all, quite the game. As you remember this button, yes, we are going here. And when I push button, yes, I just quite the game. Now I no need it. I'm not quite the game. I make like this, uh, open level. And which level I will open? I open this level, start game. So very good, we are going back. Start game level. Something like that. What next? When we are load start game, I like to escape from parent. So remove from parent, something like that. Very nice. Uh, yes, play. So start the game. After loading screen, coming game, I can play. And now I can remove. Okay, if I push yes, I am going to main screen. Looks like very nice. And exit. Good. And also I will do same for game over widget. I am going to game over widget and I have play and quiet. If I push a quiet, somewhere here, yes. Button one. If I push a quiet, I not quite the game. I just open level. Level will be start game. Okay, very nice. And then this I remove from parent. We'll check how it's working. And maybe here, yes. After that, when we are load the game, I uh, remove from parent. Yeah, like this will be more correct. Okay, start to play. Playing. Coming game. Now I, I try to lose. Okay, I lose. Uh, game over. Play again or quite the game. So I try to quiet the game. And I am again in this window. Very nice. Uh, so what we add here? Preconstruct I no need. Event tick I no need. I use a event construct. So first of all, I like to add some options. Just give me one second. I like to add options. First of all, first of all, name of these options, just give me to remember. UI, something like this. Input. I not remember exactly, I have to check. Yeah, set input mod game and UI. I think it is, yeah, player controller, we are get, get player controller. So I take it. When I go in inside, I can push all time in any buttons. It will work perfectly. Very nice. Uh, what else? What else? Now I add some animation for bull. It will be also very nice. So I have one. Maybe copy paste will be bull two copy paste bull three copy paste bull four and last one. Copy paste, it will be bull five. Okay, very nice. So I put all these bulls behind here. So I have it. Okay, what we will do? Now I put these bulls uh, on different locations. So first of all, I select all these bulls and make, I uh, know I cannot, I have to make it one by one. So middle, middle, middle again and one more time middle okay what i will do uh, this bull will be some 
Ah, come on. No, I cannot do it. So I have to go back. Okay, I take this bull and move it somewhere here. Behind. Something like that. Then I take this bull and move it somewhere somewhere on the tree. Just a moment. Okay, something like that. Bull number three. Okay. Bull number four. Maybe I don't need it. I use only bull number five. So just take it. Put somewhere here and make it very small. I don't know. Where is my bull? It is here. Mm, 100. 100, something like that. Okay, put somewhere here. Very nice. So what animation I like to make it now? Uh, create one more animation. It will be like bull anim, bull animation. Very good. Set it. And we are going for take my my first bull this one so no maybe this will be first this bull will be first i move somewhere here very good so in frame number zero it will be here i select it then i am going to frame number one mm, one second so my bull going like this, just to look me, something like that. I create one more time this keyframe. Come on, something wrong with my mouse. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think I use other button. Yeah, this I no need. This I no need. So something like that my bull going up then stay some time maybe two seconds maybe one second i create again position and then after one second more he is going down so what i get i get like this now i am open this keyframes i select it uh right just a moment, select again, right click, or no, somewhere here should be, give me one second. Yeah, you see, right click should be, yeah, right click, and it should be liner, something like that. So my bull will move like this, staying and then going down. Very good. Uh, this is second number three. What I'm doing next? Next, I'm going to second number five. Inside second number five, I select other bull, this one. And I make two keyframes, this and this. So it will be on the second number five. Then I wait one second more. So I have going somewhere here, just a moment. I'm going to second number six and move this bull. First of all, I move somewhere here and somewhere on top. So my bull look at somewhere here. Very good. After that, I wait one second and then move this bull down. Something like that and something like that okay very good then i wait maybe two seconds more and add game frame for bull number two somewhere here select and select 
what I will do now, after one second, I move this bull only like this, came frame. I wait one second, and after that, I move this bull back. Something like that. What I'm doing now? Now I'm going a little bit forward. I make for 15 seconds, somewhere here, and I select last one bull. In present moment, this bull will be with zero alpha. Something like that. So, and I select keyframe. For last bull. Yeah, alpha. After, I think it will be very fast. 10 seconds, this bull will be one. Yes. Then I wait a little bit less. Keyframe. And in 16 seconds, I put again zero. So something like that. And as you can see, my bull now moving. And it looks like very nice. So in beginning, it will be like this. Okay, very nice. So what we will do? We are going to event graph. And event construction, we are start play. We are making some delay. And after 10 seconds, maybe 10, maybe 15 seconds, up to you. We are play some animation. Play animation. Name of this animation will be animation of bull. Something like that. Loop. We are make it zero. Because I like to receive it continuously. So this loop will be zero. Uh, play back, everything done. And we are make it like a ping pong. Or maybe only forward, all time forward, doesn't matter. So play and wait. Look at this. Now I haven't any bulls. But if I wait a little bit, maybe 10 seconds, we have to wait. I have this like a nice bonus. Oh, you see, yeah, bull is coming. And what I can tell you, yes, I have two children. And my children very like this animation. And they are waiting. And for children, it's really very interesting. What I don't make, I don't make liner animation. For this bull is good. But for other, I have go back. I have select. Take bull number two. Select it. Right click and make liner. Then going to bull number. This one. Again. Select. And make liner. Good. Bull number five. Make liner. So compile and check again how it's going on. Now it should be more interesting moving. As you can see, now you cannot see any bull. But after 10 seconds, coming some progress. Yeah, very nice. Okay, good. Okay, looks like done. Uh, for this moment, our tutorial completed. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe, share with your friends, and put like. Goodbye, friends.